Ahoy there, matey. Thou art new aboard the Pequod. What be thy name? Call me Ishmael, Captain Ahab. Tell me, Ishmael, have ye seen the white whale? A white whale? That's a rare genetic mutation. Aye, he's white. Whiter than a mountain of ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. A loathsome creature. A full half league from wrinkled brow to insolent tail. <laughs> I was once close enough to that great fish to cast a harpoon into that tail. Fleet. Nay, hey, twas skill. Oh, I practice every day. No, a whale's tail is called a fluke, and whales aren't fish. They're cetaceans, part of the mammal family. It is a demon from hell's heart. I stab at thee! Steady as she goes, Captain. Perhaps it will be prudent to know thine enemy better, lest he escape your justice again. And what know ye of whales? Whales started evolving about 55 million years ago, when some four-legged mammals began to spend more time in the water gradually evolving to spend all their time in the water. There was a young naturalist aboard the Beagle who spake of evolution. But he had not seen the white whale. He was uncommonly occupied with beetles and finches. Yes, well, when cetaceans began to live in the open water and the oceans, their forelimbs evolved into flippers and their hind limbs gradually disappeared. We can still find remnants of these limbs as small bones in the hindquarters. Remnants of limbs? Like this? And being mammals, they give birth to live young, suckle them, breathe air and have warm blood. They even have hair, often in bumps along their bodies, and upper lip. Like a moustache. Like a moustache? That would look silly. Australia has one of the largest whale research facilities that has collected and studied the bones of almost every known species of whale, which have died and washed up on the beaches. It's difficult to study them up close in the ocean, but we still learn a lot about them from their bones. We've also formed some ideas about why they sometimes beach themselves, and why they sing to each other. So tell me, young Ishmael, this mammal sings songs of the sea, has white skin, breathes the salty air, has warm blood rushing through his veins, residual limbs, and suspect facial hair? Why, he's just like me. Perhaps all these years I've been trying to destroy the part of me which I despise. Mayhap I should just give myself a big hug and leave this magnificent creature to roam the seven seas to unmolested. You could begin an ecotourism business. Invite scores of landlubbers to come and visit the white whale. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Aye. <laughs>